welcome back to another video. In today's video is a cooking video. Um, so today we're going to be cooking Johnny's Dodgers. So I'm going to show you the ingredients and stuff you need. So what you will need is jam, candy jam of your choice, any jam you just you what is the flavour of this one. And then we're going to need eggs, two eggs. So I'll tell you all the um, why why what we like that like after. Some flour. Some, some sugar. Hopefully you can see the white thing right there. Um, some butter. A spoon, or if you have low power in in vent, you can use that. But I don't, so I'm using a spoon. Um, I don't have any um in vent, so I'm going to use a cup. But if you have an in vent, obviously you can um use in vent. A rolling pin. Um, some weighing scales, a bowl to put all your like stuff in for when you weigh it out, and a bigger bowl to measure it out. Um, we will need a chopping board and a baking tin. That's that, that, that. But that is later on in the video. Um, so on to the make. So you want to get your butter and open it, and you want to place it into your. Um, bowl with what's on top of your weighing scale. As you can see, it's on zero grams at the moment. So, as you can see, I have got 200 grams in my bowl now. This is how much it is. So, you have a rough idea. And um, this is how much 200 grams is. So, on to the next step. So you want to put your butter into the big bowl, just like so. So there's 80 grams of sugar there, so it's not the best focused. Um, but there's 80 grams of sugar there um, in the bowl, this is what it should look like. So you're going to tip the sugar into the bowl with the butter. So you're going to knead together the sugar and the butter, just like so. We'll come back to it when it's all kneaded. This is what it should look like when you've kneaded it all together and it's time to put the eggs in. So it should like this, look like this. You're going to need to put two egg yolks in, two egg yolks, just the yolks, not the whole thing. Two egg yolks, that is. This is what it should look like when you have kneaded the egg into the butter and the sugar. Now it's time to do the flour. So you need 280 grams of flour. We have done it already. Um, so it's quite a lot of flour, but this is what it should look like. 280 grams and you want to place it in the bowl with all the other, all the other ingredients. It's all in the bowl now. Oh God, it is all in the bowl now. That's a lot of flour. So it should look like this when you've kneaded it all together. And you need to flour your surface so it doesn't stick. So we're going to make, we're going to roll it out with a rolling pin now. So you're going to roll it out like so. Just like this. So once it's rolled out like this, as you can see, it's nice and rolled out. You're going to get your cup or your indent and make an indent like so. So they should look like this when they're done. We've just done a couple, we'll do some more. But they should look like this, nice and round. And now we're going to do an indent heart shape in it. So it should look something like this. I know the hat's not the bestest, but it's my first time doing this. So yeah, and then you're going to... And make them all, and then we're going to put jam in it. But we've got to make them all first, and like do all this to all of them. So yeah. So it should look like this, and it's done. We tried doing heart shapes, but it didn't really turn out. So we just go on with a circle. Um, this is what they look like. Um, it's our first attempt doing it, but and then you've got to put them in the oven for 30 minutes, about 30 minutes, um, and about 180, depending what oven you've got, obviously. 
So you need to put them on some grease-free paper like this and put them in the oven for 30 minutes. So this is what they should look like-ish when they have done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like, comment and subscribe and um, I'll see you soon for a brand new upload. Bye!